you guys, I'm gonna explain to you why I feel like ultra pasteurized milk is not milk. Check it out. All right, so it took me a minute. I had to cover up the label on this thing because, well, I don't wanna give this company free publicity because there's no such thing as bad publicity. Also, I don't wanna give them the chance to sue me if this video does happen to go viral, they'll just sue me for libel or something like that. But those of you who've bought this milk probably recognize it. Um, it's one of the few milks on the market that is ultra pasteurized. Um, they have new like filtered and ultra pasteurized milks that are coming out now. I've never tried them before until I bought this uh, milk last December and see. It was from last December, and by the way, folks, today is August 3rd, right? So <laughs> that's quite a, a few months old. Um, the reason why this milk had stayed in my refrigerator was, well, because I'm a woman of, you know, barefoot science is what I call it, and I was fascinated by the fact that, um, first of all, it um, really made my recipes go wrong, and so um, I quit using it. It uh, didn't taste like anything, really. Um, didn't taste like milk. Didn't taste like nothing. Um, the the closest uh, assimilation of what I could come up with of how it tasted would be, mm, I don't know, cardboard. Um, I tried to make some, you know, sauce with it. Didn't come out at all. Uh, so, you know, I don't even want to try to make yogurt or cheese or anything out of it. Uh, every once in a while, you know, we consume dairy products, especially during the holiday season. And so, yeah, and we just try to, to get new things and quality things. And we'd never tried this milk before. Um, I uh, have to tell you, I will never buy anything. I will never buy it or anything that even resembles it ever again. And I'm putting up this warning for you guys that I don't even believe this is real milk. And here's why. First of all, it still does not smell even after all these months. I kept opening it for, I don't know, every few weeks after the the sell-by date and um, smelled it just, just out of curiosity to see what would happen. And it never ever once stunk or anything. And as you can see, it, it's still liquid in there, guys. It's still liquid. Okay. Um, at least, at the very least, milk would coagulate or separate or something um, after it was a couple weeks old. This never did. Um, this still smells like nothing. Um, I have not done anything to this milk, um, other than keep it in my refrigerator and, um, open it every once in a while out of, uh, sheer fascination and, um, risk to my life probably. Uh, but I figured that if it smelled bad, then I would throw it out, right? Well, that's usually what happens. Well, that's why I still have this milk after all these months. It never seemed to go bad. Um, yeah, it's just kind of crazy. Um, and just to show you guys uh, what I mean, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pour a little bit into this little cup here, just to show you if I can. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time, but uh, get it in focus there. But as you can see, it still looks like milk. Okay, this <laughs> again. Today is August third of 2022 sell by date 12 2021 look at this guys it still looks like milk i mean nothing and this this is a regular milk carton it's not one of those you know foil pack things that you can that's shelf stable that you can put up on the, the shelf and not have it refrigerated because even those once you open them after about 10 days you know the milk's going to go bad if you don't use it because um, i've used them before yeah, this, this is just crazy, you guys. I mean, it looks like regular milk still. I mean, even almond milk would go bad by now. Like, seriously. So, I, I'm not even sure, like I said, whatever is in this carton is real milk. Um, yeah, it's just, just crazy to me. And, um, yeah, but again, it's, 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 it's ultra pasteurized. Um, it's supposed to be good stuff. It's got, like, A2 protein in it. It's, um, you know cows that weren't treated with any hormones, all that good stuff. I mean, it's not organic or anything. I mean, you know, I don't think that organic is always necessary, especially if you can't afford it. And it's reasonably priced milk too, which is, is surprising. But yeah, it's it's pretty bad. So yeah, there, <laughs> it's pretty weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, so that was pretty disgusting, and I apologize, but, you know, it has to be done. Somebody has to, to sound the alarm, because that's just not right. Um, if it can't support bacterial life, then how's it supposed to support your life? I know that sounds gross and it sounds weird, but um, everything is food for something. And if a microbe can't even survive on it, a little teeny tiny organism, you know, then how's it supposed to, you know, I don't know, help a child grow or a, a person, you know, who's older, you know, sustain their health or anything like that. So, yeah, I just don't recommend things that don't go bad. It's kind of like the proverbial, you know, thing about the, the 20 or 30 year old Twinkie, you know, it's like, <laughs> that can't be good if, if it still like looks and smells and, and tastes like it should be um, and it hasn't been packaged to like preserve it or uh, freeze dried or something like that, um, food shouldn't be good for 20 or 30 years like that. That's just, yeah, that's not happening. That's, that's just, just wrong. So um, yeah, guys, just be careful. Be careful what you buy. And um, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. And uh, Again, you know, like and subscribe. Do what you can with the YouTube thing. Um, YouTube's kind of funny right now, so haven't been making too many videos. Uh, I'm kind of regrouping and trying to do different things with the channel, so just hang in there with me, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a, an awesome day. And just be careful out there when it comes to buying food, all right? All right, talk to you later. Bye.